Welcome everyone back to Weekly Weather Updates and this evening we'll have a look at the latest from the GFS, the GM, the Eastern Relief. we'll have a look at the UK Met Office pressure, precipitation and temperature charts and we'll finish up with the GFS ensembles as well. Now the last sort of week or so we have been looking at the potential of seeing quite a cold end to November. Now it hasn't quite materialised anything massively cold yet within the models and the ensembles, however today we are starting to see the signs of northerly winds um, or at least northerly shots coming up over the next few weeks the models are starting to converge on sort of dates and sort of time frames for these northerly winds with the potential of seeing one in about a week's time with a uh, cold polar air mass moving down now they're no by no means full-on wintry weather but they are a lot colder and could bring snow to the north so do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe, and remember to follow on Twitter as well, the link is in the description. So if we do have a look at the latest from the GFS, you can see at the moment we do have high pressure in the south, but low pressure approaching from the northwest, and it's going to bring widespread rain to the north, and it is bringing rain right now um, over the course of Scotland. We can see high pressure build over the top of the UK and to the east, and we can see a small Scandinavian high building in with brief easterly winds, nothing too major. And then next week we're seeing the first potential bit of a northerly wind with a cold air mass spreading through uh, many parts of the country not massively cold in this latest gfs on uh, gfs operational run but as we'll see with some other models and the ensembles there are some that's got a bit more of a northerly going so this is the first size we could be seeing a cold air mass move through beyond that we may we sort of maintain this sort of high pressure to the south low pressure to the north the typical westerly pattern however we do head towards day 10 and we do see this ridge out in the North Atlantic head towards Greenland. Now this is sort of a signal we've been seeing repeatedly from the GFS over the last week. None of it's made into the short time frame. However, we are starting to see it appear on this GFS run at around day 9, day 10, which is a lot earlier than we have been seeing it recently. So I don't know whether that's any massive signs, but as we'll see with the models and the ensembles in a minute, it's not definitive in terms of seeing anything cold at day 10. However, on this latest GFS, we do see high pressure ridge up towards Greenland, and we are seeing very cold northerly winds move through with a very cold air mass move across the country. Minus 5 line gets through, and we stay in that cold air mass for a good few days. Um, eventually, the high pressure does start to topple, but we see another northerly shot move in before things start to turn a little bit more westerly. But with the jet stream amplified, we're seeing colder and warmer sectors. So in that sort of scenario, we would be seeing a very cold sort of five day period towards the last sort of 10 days of November. Um, nothing massively uh, wintry in terms of no massive widespread snowfalls at this stage, but northerly winds, temperatures down into the low single digits, maybe only three, four, five degree highs for many areas and getting well below freezing at night. Real um, sort of wintry shot though uh, coming with that. Um, as I said, nothing massively uh, major at this stage in terms of snow or anything, but it is looking quite cold if we do follow this latest GFS. But if we do have a look at the GM, see how that does compare up to day 10, and we'll see why there is uncertainty at this stage. You can see at the moment we do have high pressure building on northeast, and then we see that brief sort of northerly wind down the eastern side of the country, at least on this latest GA, GM run. Not really getting much cold air in actually at all. Most of the cold air is going into eastern Europe, as you can see here. But Again, this GM is a little bit of a weird outlier, uh, as you'll see as we head towards day 10. No signs of any amplification at all. High pressure just sitting over the top of the UK. We are seeing height rises in parts of our north, but nothing massively. And we're actually quite dry and westerly. Any signs of any wintry weather is going into eastern and southeastern Europe towards Italy. Greece seeing some very cold weather and generally eastern Europe as well. So... Very interesting scene for that from the latest G GM, completely different to the GFS, uh, especially towards day 10. Um, but we have to see exactly what happens with that. If we have a look at the eastern GFS, see how that does compare. You can, can see again, low pressure moving through over the next couple of days, high pressure to our north and our east. Then we see a much more colder shot of air in a week's time, with minus five line moving through, uh, especially in Scotland, uh, maybe only a couple of degrees below freezing um, in the south area of THPA. And beyond that, although we don't have any definitive signs of anything massively cold, we are starting to see that ridge head northwards. And even if it doesn't sort of get towards Greenland and pull off a more sustained northerly like we saw in the GFS, we would be going pretty cold um, for a good day or two with another northerly shot as this low clears to the south and the east. So 
ECM doing F sort of in between the GFS and the GM. So you can see the models are flip-flopping quite a bit. Uh, we have been seeing them cha very changeable over the last few days. But again, just something that comes with winter forecasting and what happens with the models. We do get very complex um, things at play. So we'll have to keep an eye really what happens over the next few weeks. But at this stage, it does look like there will be some northerly shots over the next few weeks. If we have a look at the UK Met Office run, having a look at what's happening over the next eight days or seven, eight days, you can see high pressure to an east. And then we do see that northerly wind potentially moving in um, in a week's time. And you can see again, quite a cold air mass moving through, especially across the eastern half. Could be overnight frost, and maybe a few winter showers further northwards. Uh, again, we can't see it too much further out than this, but if we could, um, you'd start to see probably westerly winds come back initially, and then we'll have to see what happens towards day 10. Now, if we have a look at the GFS ensembles, you can see some signs of the models starting to converge together. You can see generally temperatures are above average at the moment, and trending to just around or a touch above over the next sort of five to seven days and then we see quite a drastic drop by a good four or five degrees down to a couple degrees below freezing now this is when we could see that northerly wind come in you can see the majority are going quite cold a few is remaining fairly mild and the gfs operational one although showing a cold air mass moving for a period not anything majorly cold beyond that temperatures do recover to around average and stay around or below average for the foreseeable future for the last 10 days of november but once again we've got some runs going very cold um including the operational run which is um sort of in the cold of five out uh, five runs there and then we have others that are going very very mild a lot of uncertainty of course as it's been sort of consistently over the last sort of three four five days precipitation does pick up so potentially for more uh, low pressure systems moving in but nothing massively um sort of consistent in terms of precipitation so yeah we'll have to really keep an eye on what happens um it is definitely looking like we will see some colder polar maritime air masses move through at times but whether it's going to be this really quite cold northerly uh, sustained polar wind that we've been seeing on the gfs run um over the last sort of week or so Still yet to come into the short term time frame, um, so we'll have to see if the GFS is in its sort of um, sort of, uh, sort of over egging its sort of stage, or whether it is sort of sort of hinting at things that will come into the short range um, as we head towards the end of November. If we have a look at Glasgow, see what we could be seeing further northwards in terms of their masses. You can see it's quite mild at the moment with precipitation, heavy rain over the next day or so. And then you see temperatures are trending below average for that northerly shot, but it's nothing massively cold, especially in the north. Only a degree or two below average, but some are going much colder than that, so getting down to minus five or below, which would give potential for wintry showers. Beyond that, temperatures are around or above average before dipping to below average for the last sort of five to ten days of November. Again, similar to London, a lot of scatters. Some going very cold, some going very mild. No definitive signal um, for anything major at this stage. But I would definitely say there is the potential for seeing at least northerly shots. So a day or two of cold air, minus five line getting through. Definitely is the chance of that, or, or at least a decent chance of that. It's not, I don't think it's going to be completely westerly mild. There is going to be amplification. Whether it's sustained, like we've seen with the GFS, that is what we've really got to sort of under uh, got to find out over the next sort of week or so as it heads into the shorter time frame. If we now finally have a look at the GF, uh, the UK Met Office, have a look at precipitation and temperature. You can see at the moment heavier rain spreading into the north and the east. Um, patchy at times so it's not going to be raining all the time but there will be bands of heavier showers at times and heavier rain it will spread southwards and eastwards over our early hours of tomorrow a few showers in the south and for the midlands and northern england tomorrow afternoon there will be some patchy rain around across scotland uh, the same through saturday things are drying up looking pretty decent actually a few showers in the east as we pull in that easterly wind with the scandinavian high and then more rain and showers pushing from north as that high pressure does break down and weather fronts move through and then it does look like we're going to go back into a westerly pattern but no massive lows are moving through at this stage generally just looking um pretty dry but showery further northwards with quite a bit of cloud around now, if we have a look at the max temperatures, you can see generally temperatures um, over the course of this afternoon were around 12, 13, 14 degrees. Pretty decent. I think we saw a high of 16 degrees um, in a few spots. Tomorrow, we're going to be seeing temperatures once again rise to around 13, 14 degrees, a bit colder further northwards. 
Overnight temperatures are going to remain quite high, actually, as we do have a mild air mass. But in the day, it's not going to be getting too high, of course, because we are limited by an easterly wind, which is bringing in a cooler feed in off the uh, near continent. You can see, again, Saturday, maybe 12, 13 degrees, maybe only 7, 8 degrees across Scotland. And then by Sunday, maybe, again, only 13 degrees in the east, but under cooler conditions, more cloud around, and maybe only 9 or 10 degrees. By Monday afternoon, Temperature's a bit cooler in, in spots, we do have a colder air mass briefly moving through with 4 or 5 degrees across Scotland, maybe 9 or 10 degrees across England and Wales. And then by Tuesday, again, we're seeing another colder air mass potentially moving in from the north, and we're seeing temperatures in the south, 9 or 10, but in the north, only sort of 5, 6, 7 degrees. So, looking like things are turning a little bit chillier, but as we can see, no definitive sign of anything massively cold in the next sort of 5 to 7 days. Maybe day 10 is showing some signs of something a little bit colder but at this stage nothing massively cold is guaranteed but it just does look likely that we will see northerly winds at times um, that do bring the potential for colder conditions or at least below average uh, temperatures um, which at this stage in end of november really is sort of mid single digits or uh, at least in the south um, and it could bring some wintriness further northwards and maybe some more frosts as well widely so that's what we've got to keep an eye on anything sustained um, in terms of sustained wintriness no guarantee at this stage um, we are still seeing signs of it still seeing hints of it. it hasn't disappeared from the model output but it's not really gaining any um, or getting any significant traction um, at this stage just looks like a possibility within a bunch of other possibilities as well um, so We'll have to keep an eye on that um, for all those wintry and snow lovers out there. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.